Hi everyone, I'm Dina and welcome back to our channel Mills Family Gardening and in this video we'd like to talk about setting up a very simple trellis for tomatoes. And this video actually has two parts and the first part will be where my husband back in March was about to set up the trellis and then the second part of the video will be the finished product when we have it all set up and then we'll show you what it looks like today. It's Matt this time instead of my lovely wife Dina and our girls Ayana and Katie with their piggies Elsa and Anna and hopefully you can see the beautiful Bradford pear and apricot tree that are blossoming behind us hopefully we'll have some nice apricots to show you here in a couple of months but today's video is going to be about a trellis that we're planning to build and so this will be the first video installment of the trellis project we can't do it today because we don't have a driver for these t-posts but the idea here is we're going to put up these t-posts, there's six of them, and make it about 10 feet long and maybe about three or four feet wide. And these are going to be for the tomatoes. Now hopefully you've already seen our tomato videos where we started these tomatoes indoors in seeds. Now here we are in the middle of March in Texas and it's starting to warm up a little bit so we can take the tomatoes outside. But the tomatoes are getting a little bit droopy and they're a little sad at the fact that they're still in these little containers. They want to grow and blossom and spread out. And so you can see there's a little tomato emerging there, looking nice. But they need to be planted in the ground soon. So we're going to do these posts pretty soon. And then we're going to take this wire right here. And this is a little bit simpler and cheaper uh, than other types of projects where you could maybe do chicken wire or something more elaborate. I'm not really a handyman and this is a little cheaper than doing some of these other uh, options that we looked at. So the idea is just run a few uh, rounds uh, of this chicken wire around where the T-posts are. So maybe about three levels of chicken wire or this uh, baling wire around the T-post and that'll give the tomatoes something to latch onto so that they can grow up and be nice beautiful tomatoes. And hopefully we can show you those beautiful tomatoes in a few months when they're in full bloom and giving us red ripe tomatoes. How's that girls? <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, let's put this thing together next week when we can borrow a driver, okay? Alright. And here we are three months later. Today is June 6th and as you can see our trellis is set up. It's very simple so if you are looking for an easy idea to set up a trellis, then that might be good for you. So these T-posts are six feet high, but after you pound them into the ground, they are five feet high. And then after we put the T-posts in the ground, we use this wire. I'm sure it's not a garden wire. I'm sure it's just a regular wire because you can see that it rusted a little bit, but it's okay, it doesn't bother us. So we put this wire from one T-post to the next, to the next, all around. And then we came back here. So we kind of made like a rectangular with this wire. You can see that we already have some tomatoes that are ripe and they're ready to be picked. And we plan on doing that soon. As you can see, I have my tomatoes with three stems. And I did that on purpose since our trellis is not very high. I thought I would just have three stems and hopefully that will slow down the growth of the tomato plants a little bit. And here I use some just regular red yarn because I didn't have anything else in the house and I tied them to the wire and then I tied the other end of the yarn to the bottom of each stem and then I wrapped it around the stem a little bit and as you can see the yarn is holding up the tomato and also this tomato is getting pretty high it's getting almost well it is at the top of the trellis and it's touching the wire so i have not decided what i'm going to do next after this i might just wrap it around the wire but whenever i make a decision i'm hoping to make a video about that and also you might want to see the tomato hornworm that we have here he is, and you can tell that he is really happy there. He is fat. I wonder why he got so fat there. I'm sure a lot of you know that these hor uh, tomato hornworms are bad for the tomatoes, and I'll, I'm planning on getting rid of it, even though I know that they turn into beautiful moths, but I don't really want it to 
devour all of my tomato plants, so it will have to go. Well, I hope you liked this video and it gave you some simple ideas on how to build a trellis. You can use T posts that are eight foot high and you can use the same garden wire to put all around it and that will give some room to your tomatoes. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate your support. And for now, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.